It's one thing to be able to animate a title, but being able to truly design it is another thing completely. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you five design techniques that'll help take your title animations to the next level. What's up everyone, this is Jordan Breton with Sonduck Film. Make sure to give this video a like, it helps us out a bunch, and let's get started. Our first title design is going to be this simple splitting animation. Here we have our basic title with a simple reveal animation. This tutorial isn't going to be about how to do these animations. If you'd like to learn more about them, you can check out our 10 title animations video that'll be linked in the description. First, what we'll do is select the pen tool, highlight the title layer, then click to create a mask that cuts through the center of the title like this. Once we have our mask, duplicate the title layer, open up the original, open the masks, and invert the mask to show the other side. You might see a little seam in the middle of the title, just hit the up arrow key once or twice to connect them. Now we'll animate both parts, so select the top, press P for position, set a keyframe, then move forwards and pull this half away from the seam like this. Then highlight the bottom half and do the exact same, but bring that away from the seam as well. Highlight the keyframes, press F9 to make them easy ease, open the graph editor tool and pull in the curve like this to smooth out the animation. Now our title separates and we can add a shadow effect, so highlight the top half and go to Effect, Generate, Gradient Ramp, set the start color to be the same as our background, then put the start of ramp at the top like this and the end of ramp just underneath of it like this. You can see now that this nice shadow forms. Now we'll animate it, so set a keyframe for start color at the end of the position animation, go to the start of the animation, and set the start color back to white. Now when it separates, a shadow will form at the top. We'll copy this gradient ramp, paste it onto the bottom half of the title, and just change the start and end positions to be on the top side of the bottom half just like this. Now you have this great splitting design to enhance your title animations. This next design is similar to the first, but now we'll add some 3D techniques. Here we have the same title, and we'll start by doing the same thing as last time. Select the pen tool, create a mask, but this time make it a rectangle that cuts through the middle of the title just like this. Now duplicate the title twice, select the top title, move the mask above the title and have it connect with the original like this, then highlight the bottom of the title, and do the same but have it go underneath. Now that they're split up, enable the titles as 3D layers, then set a keyframe for position on the top and bottom layers about a second in, move forward a bit on the timeline, and set the Z value of the positions to negative 100 for both so that they come toward the screen. Next we'll animate our camera, so go to Layer, New, Camera, click OK, open the camera, transform, set a keyframe for point of interest and position at the start of the timeline. Move to where the title comes in, then select the Orbit Around Cursor tool and put the title at an angle like this. Move forward a few more seconds and put the camera at the opposite angle like this. Hold down the Alt key, click the stopwatch for point of interest, type in the loop out expression with ping pong in parentheses like this, then copy that expression and put it into the position animation as well. Now the camera will move back and forth to show off the 3D effect. Lastly, we'll add some shadows, so highlight the top of the title, Go to Effect, Perspective, Drop Shadow, set the angle to be toward the middle like this, set the opacity to 60%, duplicate the drop shadow effect, increase the opacity to 100%, and set the softness to around 80 or so for a nice shadow. Copy these drop shadow effects, paste them onto the bottom of the title, then just change the angle so that the shadows point in toward the middle from the bottom like this. Now you have this cool 3D splitting design for your title animation. Before we move on, as you may know, creating motion graphics can be incredibly time consuming. That's why we've made thousands of templates to help you save time and produce professional work with our Motion Duck extension. For example, you can easily preview templates from one of our packs and just click the apply button. Then you can quickly change the template parameters and you're done. So if you're looking to gain an edge within your work, check out every template we have for After Effects and Premiere Pro with the links below. Next, we'll create this stacking trace design for our title animation. First, we'll go over to the Project panel, duplicate our title animation pre-comp, drag this duplicate onto the timeline, open it up, highlight the text, and click Swap Fill and Stroke in the Character panel. Next, make sure that the title is highlighted, select the Rectangle tool, create a mask that cuts the title in half like this, go to one second on the timeline, set a keyframe for position, move forward a bit more, and move the position up so that it goes above the original title. 
Make the keyframes easy ease, and adjust the speed in the graph editor just like before, then when we go back to our main composition, the title should animate above the original. You may need to go back and adjust the position of the cut title until it's just in the right spot. In the main composition, you can see that the cut title can be seen behind the original, and we don't want that, so highlight the cut title pre-comp, select the rectangle tool, and create a mask above the original title like this so that it only appears above the original and not behind it. Next, we'll duplicate our second title in the project panel, drag it onto the timeline, open it, move the keyframes for position to start where they originally ended, like this, then adjust the mask so that it cuts off even more of the title and only shows the very top. Go to the final position keyframe, move the title even further up, then go back to the main comp and make sure it's above the second title forming a stack. If not, go back and forth, adjusting the position until it lines up properly. Now, go back to the main composition, highlight this third title, select the rectangle tool, and create another mask above the second cut title so that no titles show up behind each other. You can see now that we have the top stacking design complete. I'll fast forward while I do the bottom, because doing the bottom is identical. The only thing that changes is the position of the titles and where you cut them off. And now you have this stacking trace design for your title animation. Next, we'll use the echo effect to make this trippy trailing design for our title animation. We'll start by opening up our title, changing it from a fill to a stroke in the character panel, move on the timeline after the animation comes in, set a keyframe for scale, move forward on the timeline, and set the scale to 150%. Make the keyframes easy ease, smooth out the animation in the graph editor, hold the Alt key and click the stopwatch for scale, and we'll put in the loop out ping pong expression again so that the title continuously zooms in and out. Go back to the main composition, highlight the title pre-comp, Go to Effect, Time, Echo, set the Echo Time to negative 0.04 and Number of Echoes to 15. You might have to play around with these settings to get the same effect. It changes depending on the speed and length of your animation. Now we have this cool looping trail design for our title animation. Our last design uses PNG images to create this awesome overlay masking effect on our title animation. Here, we have our title animation over a white background, and what we're gonna do is take this mountain PNG image I have, put it onto the timeline underneath of our title, and resize it so that it fits our composition. You can see the background behind the mountain has been removed from this PNG image. You can either find an image without a background already, or remove it yourself in Photoshop. If you'd like to learn more about removing backgrounds from images, check out our tutorial on our brand new Sonda Creative channel, the link to that video will be in the description as well. Now that we have our image beneath our title, we'll select the track mat drop down menu, set the track mat to the title above it, then if you start moving the position of the mountain image downwards, you'll see it morph the top of our title to take on the shape of the mountain. This is one way to use this technique. You can also select the invert checkbox on the track mat so that our title cuts out its shape from our mountain like this for another cool effect. Now you know five new design techniques that you can use to enhance your title animations in After Effects. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more post-production tutorials every week, and remember, always be creating.